Here's a uh, little video on some tools I've picked up today. These are tools that I, I'll be using whenever I do repairs. Um, I haven't actually had a decent pair of uh, bent needle nose pliers before and this is the first pair I've ever gotten for myself. And they are beautiful. They're better than the ones I've got at work. I I've also got a pair of wire cutters and these are going to be great for snipping off uh, choo -choo 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 bits of uh, I guess yeah, the, the legs of capacitors and things but uh, the most exciting thing that I picked up was uh, this little beauty it's a Bosch heat gun the details there it is a there we go PHG 630 DCE it's got a nice grip it's got a targeter on the back. No, it's a temperature adjustment thing. Nice long power lead and three fan speeds. So that is going to be very handy, I think. Kind of feels like it should have a trigger there, but it doesn't, just for holding. Um, at the moment I'm using a sort of generic, uh, sort of handheld one, a lot more lot less jumbo this one can go up to 630 degree I think which is uh, hence the model number and oh, we'll give it a power on right now and just give it a test and what better to test on than uh, the motherboard that was sent up by hexagon himself in uh, southern parts of Australia so let's set the temperature Okay, the negative's on the right hand side and the up is on the left. That's a bit back to front, but it is from Romania, so don't quite know what to expect there. We're going to try removing the CPU. So to do that, we're going to heat it up to about, what's the melting point of solder? Anyone know? We'll just put it on like 400. Now this gun has built in a little sensor that if you move it too close it shuts off, which is very handy. I can see right now it's dropping the temperature, so it knows it's too close on that particular fan setting. 340, 330, 320, 310, if I move it away, 310, 320, 3, there you go. So very accurate temperature reading. And for this we're using a jeweler's flat blade, which you can pick up for about a dollar fifty at the, uh, the market store. You can see the stuff melting around the, uh, the CPU core there. Pretty sure that's not a good thing. It's bubbling out. Got a bit of lift there. Hope this is in focus for you. And we're removed. And that jeweler screwdriver is very hot. Ow. So it's a good little heat gun. I do like the uh, the thermal built-in thermal thing there, where it would detect the uh, the heat bouncing back at it, so it would adjust it accordingly. Uh, which means you can always get the perfect. Sort of distance without uh, melting melting a hole right through the PCB so once you get the right temperature I think 400 is about right I have no idea but now we can have a look at the um, look at that look at all those balls of solder still attached by one little strand I'm not touching it because it's going to be bloody hot. Get off! Hey! So what happens over time? So this is how red ring of death and uh, yellow light of death occurs on a lot of these boards. These little joints underneath the, the CPU heat up and cool down. As they do that every time, heat and cool, heat and cool, they weaken 
and sometimes they can cause cracks in the solder, much like what you see on um, Mega Drives on the DC in jack, uh, Mega Drive 2s in particular, where the solder is cracked on the underside of the board because of physical stress of plugging in and unplugging the power cord. Uh, same sort of thing here, but the because it's a lot smaller, the temperature affects it quite a bit. And over time, what'll happen is because when when it heats, it liquefies a little bit and contracts and expands, contracts and expands, crack. You lose connectors, and if you don't have all the connections going, things are going to go wrong. Enter Red Ring of Death. Here's the CPU, just up close. As you can see, there are a lot of balls there of solder that did not really melt. And as a result, they're just massacred off. All just torn. Treat your Xbox as well, people. So that's how that works. Now you might know on most PCs these days that they don't use um, they use the uh, that side sort of all flat, and then there's the pin sticking out on this. Wow, that's giving off a lot of heat. Don't want to mess with that. But that's just an overview of how that works. I'll actually be using this board to steal the RAM off to pop into the other Xbox in time, not just yet. Um, so it'll have 128 from what I understand, which will let it run debug games or something. Uh, some, something, something cool like that. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, those are my new tools. Just thought I'd show everyone just uh, what sort of things I use. But that gun is very good. A heat gun. It only cost uh, $100 Australian, which is about 100 US at the moment from uh, my local Bunnings. Good store, lots of tools and things. So thanks for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe and we'll have some more videos in the coming days and weeks. Ridgy Didge.